Do you spend your workday trying not to lose your shit? Well, brilliant coach Charlotte Ma is here to show us how to stay cool when we are ready to erupt. Are you ready to learn an amazing tip that you can do anytime, any place to bring your stress from here, way down here? It is called peripheral vision, which is not the catchiest name, but all we're gonna do is find a spot above your eye level, probably at the corner of where your ceiling meets the wall. You're gonna stare at that spot and then you're just going to really open your gaze to the periphery. If you want to, if you have your hands free and it wouldn't look silly to do this, you can wiggle your fingers so that your attention gets drawn outwards and it takes us out of our focal vision, which is our, our stress or our fight flight gaze. And it brings us out into a more open, relaxed place. As you do this, I would encourage you to take some nice slow breaths, really sink into your body. Imagine what surface you're sitting on, your feet touching the floor, maybe the temperature of the air on your skin and you are just allowing yourself to come back into the present moment and then getting on with the rest of your day. Well, that was amazing. I'm not even close to losing my shit. And I noticed that that felt really good. And I can also see this as like a super warning sign for my colleagues. If they see me doing this in my office or in the <laughs> middle of a meeting. So you alluded a little bit to how this changes the, our you know, fight or flight response. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? For sure. So, you know, when you're in a really stressed place, usually that means that your body is getting activated or upregulated and it's ready to do something, whether it's to break out into a fight or to run away. And in that state, we get lots of blood flow to our muscles, our heart rate goes up, our breathing rate goes up. So we start to feel tense. And another thing that happens is we start to get a bit of tunnel vision. So our focus really goes towards what it is that we might need to get away from or to confront. So when we can start to change what our eyes are doing by opening up our gaze out to the periphery, it makes a huge difference in being able to settle down the rest of that response. And then we can start to breathe and bring in some of that calming to take us into more of that parasympathetic or resting state. Okay, that was so simple. I had no idea that you could calm your nervous system just by changing your gaze. Do you have any other tools that we could access to help us with that? Absolutely. This is part of what I do when I coach people who are stressed a lot of the time. So one of the things that I like to share is this video that I've made of three of the top tools to help with stress or burnout. So I'm going to send you that link if you would like to share it with people. Yeah, absolutely. I will put the link below in the description so people can access that. And these are amazing tools that we can just do right away. I thought it was a lot more complicated to reduce stress. Well, I thought you did some stress reduction yourself. Clearly you're overthinking it. <laughs> Gosh, I love you so much. But... <laughs> so that's cool that you coach people through that. And I noticed that it says that um, you also coach people on how to find joy in their career, even if they're feeling like a little disenchanted with it right now. Tell us more about what you do and how people can find you. Oh man, so that's probably some of the most exciting part of working with other people because often they're in this stuck place and they just dread the day-to-day -day, whatever is going on in their lives. So part of the coaching that I do works with the unconscious mind using what's called neuro-linguistic programming. So we can actually rewrite their any kind of traumatic events or big emotional upsets, as well as help rewire limiting beliefs. And you have no idea how much that will help with someone feeling better on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like having a computer with a bajillion windows open and those windows are these negative programs slowing you down so that every time you try to type something on your computer, it freezes and you can clear those away. And it just makes the system operate so much smoothly and so much faster. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. I need that. So how can people get in touch with you if they want to know more about you? 
Uh, they're welcome to check out my Facebook group. I have a Facebook group called Connected Clinicians and send me a message there. So this has been amazing and super helpful. Is there any last advice that you might have before we sign off? I would say if you are in a really negative place, whether that's in your work or your personal life, see if you can shift your focus towards what it is that you want and what's going well, instead of dwelling on the things that aren't really going very well, because that's what your mind is going to gravitate towards. So focus on the, the positive and as much as you can, uh, try to regulate your nervous systems so that you can filter in more of the positive information that is actually in the environment that your mind is not letting you access because of the state that you're in. So where you are focusing is what will come back to you because that's what we're projecting out into our world a lot of the time. Subscribe below so you can add more B word, S word, and even F word to your busy life.